Welcome to the New Life Stories channel. We hope you will have fun with us. Enjoy watching. I nodded, keeping my eyes on the laptop screen. Working from home allowed me to stay put, unlike my friend Carol, who had to go to the office every weekday. However, when her aunt came to visit unexpectedly, I found that I wasn't bored at all. Aunt Carol didn't look like an aunt, but more like a sister. We're home alone again, John, she said. Yes, Pamela, I replied. She made it clear that she preferred to be called Pamela rather than Auntie. I watched her as she moved around the house in her short robe, seemingly oblivious to my presence. After an hour, she came over to me and put her hand on my shoulder, stroking it gently. Do you need anything to wash? I answered simply, No. I paid no attention to the chuckle that escaped her lips, but her touch lingered on my shoulder, causing a familiar sensation that I associated with Carol. Returning my attention to the text on my laptop, I couldn't help but wonder why Pamela always greeted me in my robe, cast unusual glances in my direction when I came out of the bathroom after a shower, and always tried to make body contact. Putting my laptop aside, I headed into the bathroom. The door was slightly ajar and I could see Pamela's shapely legs as she bent over to load laundry into the washing machine, causing her robe to lift slightly. Even though she was older, she exuded the same attractiveness as Carol. I knocked on the door before opening it wide. John, you scared me. Pamela slowly straightened up, adjusting her robe and involuntarily opening the neckline on her chest even more. She always acted like this when Carol wasn't home, and I was used to it. You came to help me? I wanted to know how much longer you'll be staying with us. How I could help her, I guessed. But I had to clear something up first. John, I'll be gone and you'll miss me. How can I let that happen? What was going through Pamela's mind as she said all this in her sweet voice and penetrating gaze? Only she knew. I could only guess. And it was dangerous to act. She'd go and tell Carol that I'd molested her aunt. So I went back into the hall to avoid the incident, and I think I heard Pamela's disgruntled sigh. A couple hours later, she sat in the chair next to me. My ex-husband was always figuring things out with me, following me around. I couldn't even get a job I liked because it was exclusively male. That was all behind me now. I lifted my head from my laptop and looked at her puzzled. Pamela was sitting with a glass of wine and looking me straight in the eye. Good thing I don't have to come up with a reason why I'm in the same apartment with such a handsome man right now. I put my laptop aside and stood up. Pamela finished her glass and rose to follow me. In that moment, it felt as if time had stopped and everything was passing by. As soon as our lips touched, I realized that we cared for each other. On the couch, we got rid of the unnecessary things the titles that separated us and any thoughts that prevented us from feeling and exploring pleasure in its pristine form. And we gave ourselves to each other without looking back, without prejudice. It was just our bodies expressing what we craved. For a long time, we were side by side, intertwined with each other. Some force kept us apart, and the more I gave myself over to pleasure, the more Pamela gave herself to me, her body, her essence, her flexibility. It was over relatively quickly, and Pamela looked at her watch. Carol would be here soon. Well, I'll take my chances. Now let's see how my aunt behaves in the presence of my friend. Do you think it's possible that this was a test of fidelity? Dear friends, show your support by liking, subscribing, and leaving comments. Your participation motivates us to create new videos. Thank you all.